So what you guys just saw in that little clip is what I mean by break dancing. It's something that I saw when I was building this little guy here. Um, and it was, it was a pain in the butt to try to nail down what was going on. And basically it looked in the video when I, I went to Facebook for help and everyone was like, your flight controllers in upside down and all of that. So, um, like it, it wasn't though. And the strange thing is, is you know, it, it, it just wasn't, I've never, I've, I've built, I think seven or eight quads now, every one of them, I've always done the same way. The arrow on the flight controller goes forward and you know, then you're fine. So yeah, it was just a, a weird thing. Um, I'm actually going to be building a, uh, three inch Hyperlite tooth fairy. And so I got the new flight controller in. It was one of the, um, HGLRCs, the, the stack, you know, it's got, I think it's an F4 flight controller for 28 amp ESCs and, you know, a VTX, like a, like a little stack. And, um, so here's the F4 flight controller and it did the same thing. Um, you know, arrow facing forward like this, every, pretty much every axis was, was off. Um, I want to take you into the actual, you know, software into beta flight and show you what I mean by, by off. So give me a second. We're going to cut over to that and I'll give you a, a better idea of what, what I'm trying to get at. All right, guys. So we're in beta flight and basically this is what everyone's used to seeing, right? The quad representation here on the screen, whenever you wiggle the quad around, you know, it, the front of the quad is right now facing toward my, my monitor. So I pitch it up, it moves up, pitch down, left, right, y'all, it all basically works. What happened is when I built this quad for the first time, I went into the configuration and I always just turn off the accelerometer piece. You know, I just don't, I don't use it. There's no reason for it. Um, I don't fly in any sort of, you know, sort of modes that require it. So I just turn it off to say, to save CPU cycles. Uh, but as you can tell here, my gyro alignment, accelerometer alignment and magnetometer or mag alignment, I think it's magnetometer. Um, basically, I had to reverse those. Um, the reason why, um, honestly, honestly, I can't say the reason why. Um, I would expect this flight controller, like every other flight controller I get, um, to come out where if the arrow is facing forward, that's forward, you know, and all the corresponding axes, you know, work is expected. But what happened here, I mean, it was completely upside down. Um, so if I, let me take a quick screenshot of these, make sure I remember what they were, but if I set all these back to default, hit save and reboot. I mean, right now the quad is not facing toward the monitor and if I pitch forward, uh, so right now this is, you know, roll left. It's basically just everything was, was reversed, right? So if I can give one, you know, piece of advice, it's don't turn your accelerometer off until you verify the axes. Uh, it's the first time it happened to me and I couldn't figure it out to save my life. It was, it was completely strange. So, but yeah, once I got all that figured out, then it was, it was all good. But if your quad is doing, you know, it's a, even if it's a micro, a five inch, whatever, if your quad is, you know, exhibiting the behavior in the clip at the beginning of the video, go in here, you know, if you have your accelerometer turned off then turn it back on and validate that, you know, all of your, your axes or axes, excuse me, all your axes are, are properly set up because if it's not, then it will break dance across the floor and, try to chop up your carpet and your wife will yell at you. So, so yeah, hopefully that helps. And, uh, if anyone's experiencing those problems, then, uh, yeah, give that a shot. So yeah. Um, if you like the video, like subscribe, all that good stuff and, uh, comment. Let me know if this helped or if I was basically a moron for not checking this in the first place. So, all right guys, we all have a good night and we'll call at y'all later.